these guys are coming back today to finish the installation of the propane. I need to wire it, so I need to do that today. Oh, and I'm also going to have them put a T in for the generator. We're going to convert my generator over to propane. So if the power does go out out here, the generator will be connected to the propane tanks and we can run that. Uh, so I'm excited to have that done. And we're just going to put a T in the main supply line so that can happen. Let's get to work today on putting uh, some or getting some of these tasks done. Sweet. Okay, I just got the power hooked up. Not live. It's not live. <laughs> it's not plugged in yet. Uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, I just got the, the line, I should say, connected. The wires are connected. Uh, so I got my uh, clamp on here going through the metal. And then I got the line, the ground, and the neutral all connected. So now I need to string the electrical uh, along the, the bars here and then tie it into main power. All right, I got it all wired up. I got the thermostat and the power switch put in. Now it's time to turn it on and see if I blow it up. So I put this power switch in here so that uh, we can turn it on and off and not have to shut the breaker off and everything that's on the breaker. So here we go. Just gave it power. Climb up there, see if there's any blinky lights. Well, nothing's blowing up, so it looks like we're good. Well, uh, we just had the installation folks. They came, they've been here for about four hours. I uh, didn't want to get in their way with the camera or deal with any of that, so forgive me for not taking any shots of that. But they worked their butts off. It's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit out, and uh, just a great day to get some work done. And they came in and stabilized everything here. Uh, we got multiple cross members going. I really wanted it secure because the building, we got a lot of wind up here. So it's really totally secure. We got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, that's, uh, what is that? Uh, five, ten. Ten points of connection uh, going to the building. So if you have, you'd have to have multiples fail before anything bad could happen with this. So that's really awesome. Really happy with that. Everything is vented outside. Let me get you some close up shots here. Let's go mobile. So there we go, we got the vent system, and that's a powered vent. That's why you don't have to have the chimney stack, is because it actually has a blower in it, came to find out. Our trench is all filled in, yay. And then we have two 600 gallon propane tanks. That are daisy chained to each other, so if it gets down in the negative temps again, we'll have enough pressure to run this bad boy. Here, let's look at this some more. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten connection points, uh, five to the building. Sorry, no, that's even more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight connection points to the building, 16 total connections. Look at that. I think it's secure. What a monster. Total monster. Maybe that'll be its name, the Martian monster. There it is. This is way better than the little heaters we had last year. Wow. It's so cool. So uh, now what I'm working on is I'm putting up the fans again. So what we're going to have, let me show you that. One fan. Way down there, two fans. three and four and the way these are supposed to be set up is the two inside lanes are blowing down that way so that one's blowing down that way and then the outside lanes are blowing back this way so that you create uh, this function inside Ooh, look at that that's pretty cool <clears throat> 
So the heater will blow all of its heat out into the middle of the building and that's where the two middle lanes will grab it, send it all the way to the other side, since it's farthest away that it has the most work there, and then the outside lanes will bring it back up to get back to the heater. So, really cool. I'm gonna get those fans and I'll show you that. that. Well, we had another good day's worth of work. Um, this is a, a big muscle movement again that happened today. We got the propane heating in, and boy is it in. My goodness, I'm totally, totally satisfied with it so far. I mean, it's not cold outside, but we kicked it on today and it pumps heat all the way to the other side of the building when that thing is really going. So uh, really excited. It is Wi-Fi controlled. The thermostat is a Honeywell uh, Wi-Fi connected thermostat that we can uh, plug into on our smartphone. I forget where I put my smartphone at, but um, we can be anywhere, connect to it uh, and turn it on, turn it off. Very excited about that. Uh, the, the key reason I wanted that is so that Mrs. Martian could be up the house and when she comes out, uh, if she doesn't come out, you know, at the same time every day when the thermostat is set, uh, she can actually just bump up the heat a little bit so that by the time she gets out here, you know, it's warm enough for her to be comfortable, which is going to be somewhere between 65 and 70, 75 degrees. So, and then when she's gone, she bumps it back down again. So that, that's going to make it really, really nice for her, for me as well. Uh, when that snow starts coming and the cold weather gets here. Remember last year we got down to negative eight, which is the coldest I've seen it uh, here, and we've been here for a little over five years. So uh, the old timers are telling me that the winters are starting to look like the winters they used to be, uh, which is good news, uh, but it means it's hard, uh, hard winters. So uh, I also got the fan system put in today and wired everything. You saw me uh, putting in the uh, cords and then also running wire down so we have a fan at this end and the fan all the way down at that end to create a circular motion of air like this on this side of the building and then the exact opposite over here where the fan starts in the middle blows down and comes back up and then the heater when the heater tosses the heat out it goes in the middle gets caught by these two fans and zoom down uh, to the other side and then we have a nice circulation inside of the building to keep everything nice and warm. So, uh, we do have some more heat coming though. It looks like we're gonna jump back up into maybe even the hundreds. So I gotta go clean the pool and get ready for that. And uh, we got some Seahawk football tonight. I'm very excited, they're looking pretty good in the preseason, but that doesn't mean anything, of course. And I don't know why they don't listen to me. I keep telling them, you gotta fix the offensive line. I've said it for the last, I don't know, forever. Uh, and, uh, but you know, who am I? Uh, just a, a loyal fan that's been there through all the dark ages and now finally gets to celebrate when they're doing awesome. But hey, I love my football. Uh, yeah, so as far as the project goes, muscle movements remaining. We've got uh, the insulation, which I think, as we talked about at the beginning of this video, is probably going to be a reskin of the building. And then blackout insulation on the north side, and then right up to there on this side and then clean clear plastic all the way up uh, woven PVC that's clear all the way up from the manufacturer and then a double layer of uh, poly on that one or a layer of poly on the inside hanging up on the ceiling there uh, for the insulation value so that means hopefully we won't have to turn this monster on uh, the heater and we won't have to burn through as many uh, gallons of propane which will keep our costs down uh, throughout winter oh i forgot to tell you uh really great news we're making enough money on microgreen sales to pay for electricity and to pay for heating throughout winter at at full price so very excited about that that means what we're doing is working uh, in fact the grocery store we sell at um, sold out sold out uh, in two days uh, normally we take them stuff every week they sold out in two days so they've doubled their order essentially so we're very excited about that uh, we're getting to the point where we're almost, well, I'm just not going to say that yet, but the BE number. Uh, so for those that know what that means, you'll figure it out. But we're getting there. We're getting there. So exciting. Uh, so much hard work, so much labor. I will admit that I am burned out. I'm, in fact, um, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't be here right now because when you're out of gas and you're running on fumes, I mean, that's the same, but what happens when you're out of fumes? Uh, for me, what I've found is I'm running on faith. 
So uh, sometimes I'm amazed that I can keep going. And my wife is doing the same thing as well. So I'm really so proud of her and all that she's doing. Uh, she's an amazing woman. So, hey, I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for following along. If you're brand new to the channel, we really appreciate it if you subscribe. Join us in the comment section. That's always fun. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everybody, this is The Real Martian. Out.